adding panels to the end of a run of cabinets or to the end of your islands is a great way to enhance your customer's project. We can add panels in two different ways. I have a plan on the screen that I'm going to zoom in on using my mouse by rolling the mouse forward. So let's just work on the island for a moment. It would be nice to place panels to the left-hand side of the island. So if I right-clicked on one of the island cabinets and scroll down to the Attributes feature, when I open up Attributes, you will see the cabinet to the left in preview mode. You'll notice that right now, the left side's not finished, the right side is. I can choose the option or the tab called Add-ons. Add-ons is where you will have accessories listed and also where your cabinet manufacturers will list their, uh, their modifications. In this case in my catalog, I have a listing for base modifications. I will click on the plus and it will give me a list of all the modifications list available from my manufacturer. In this case, I wanted to add a panel to the right. All I would do is move my mouse down to where it says Base Tour Panel. I would click inside of the selection box. And as you can see, I have added a panel to the right-hand side of the cabinet. Now, I'm going to cancel out of there because I'm going to show you a second way to add the panel. To the left-hand side of your screen, you have your drop-down menu for your drag and drop. Right now, we're using the generic Sample F catalog, but all of your brand-specific catalogs will work the same exact way. We're going to double click on base and open up the base cabinets. Panels are typically listed at the end of the category. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom and I'm going to double click in this case on door end panels. We'll double click. It says what type of door end panels do you want? Do you just want a base door end panel? Do you want a double panel? I'm going to left click or double click on the base door panel. I'm going to select the panel that I would like, and I'm going to drag it and drop it right on the floor plan. Now, if I had wanted to, I could right click and I could rotate that panel whatever direction I need, but in this case, the panel is actually lined up exactly the way I want, so I will rotate it back to the way it was, and I'm going to slide it over, and you'll notice that when I get close to the DB24, it will snap right into place. I can grab a hold of the next panel, let it go on the floor plan, drag it over, let it snap right into place too. Using the auto snap feature, these panels are perfectly aligned. Now, I'm going to double click on the wheel of my mouse to center my drawing, and let's take a look at what we've done. We're going to go over to perspective, I'll click view, and in this case, you'll notice I'm going to do a hidden line drawing. We can certainly enhance this with textures and so forth, but let's just do a basic line drawing to begin with. I'm going to move out here to the left and Let's take a look at the results.